Dream chasing boxing here. Shout out to the LDBC. All right, I have to talk about this. I saw the video from Quest X, 70 Sports TV. I believe somebody else um, spoke about it as well. But um, to get into it, man, the excuse is already in if Andre Ward beats Sergey Kovalev. And of course it is. We predicted this. This is nothing new. They do this with every single black fighter. We're talking about the other side. And honestly, I don't even really want to address this too much. I want to sit down and use this as an opportunity to not only expose the double standards, but show, just to show you guys why you should support LDBC and why this is really the only place for real boxing. Look, man, they're trying to sit down and put in place that if Sergey Kovalev or Andre Ward win, it doesn't, you know, determine who's a pound for pound king. When we have all, everybody for the most part got on the same page and said, this fighter, whoever wins, will be number one for pound for pound. And now that's actually made, now they're being scared, now they're backpedaling, now they're doing the same thing they do with every black fighter. They did it with Terrence Crawford, all of a sudden now when the fight's made, it's about to happen, all of a sudden now it's not, now Terrence Crawford's not scared anymore. No now he should win. Now it's not that big of a deal anymore. Now it's like, now it's okay, what did Victor Postal do? Now it's what did Sergey Kovalev do? See, this pattern has been going on and on, and this proves, this proves, in my opinion, once not, well, it's, it's already been proven, but this proves right here once and for all, anything they say holds no weight or value, because a lot of times they keep making so many excuses, they're not consistent, they, they keep cutting themselves off. This proves by their own admission, they don't believe that Triple G did anything. By their own admission, I'll explain why a little bit later in the video, but let's address it. If... Sergey Kovalev wins this fight, he gets full credit. If Sergey Kovalev wins this fight, he gets full credit. There's no excuses. There's no Andre Ward was hurt. There's no Andre Ward just got at 175. He had multiple fights there. There are no excuses. If Sergey Kovalev goes in there and knocks out Andre Ward. I'll be the first one who's on here congratulating him. He's still a racist piece of shit to me. But as a fighter, I would give him nothing but props because, look, Andre Ward is my favorite fighter, but I, I don't have anything on um, I don't have this thing where I'm going to be dishonest or lie. I, if I think, even if like Sergey Kovalev, if I feel like he won a decision, I'm going to say he won. I'm not on this shit where because he's white or because I even think he's racist, I'm going to be dishonest to the sport. I have integrity for the sport, man. If I think Sergey Kovalev won, then I think he won, man. If he knocks out, if he knocks Ward out, he knocked Ward out. There's no excuses. Just give the man his due. He would have sat down and beat one of the best fighters in the world and who I think is the best fighter in the world. So I'm not going to sit down and downplay it if he wins. I'm going to give him full credit, and I have no problem doing so. And pretty much everyone else in, in the LDBC will give Sergey Kovalev, Kovalev full credit because we don't do what they do. We don't sit down and diminish great fighters. That's not what we do. Now, to get into the second part of this, man, if Andre Ward does win, clearly, clearly the best fighter in the world, one of the most courageous fighters in the world, and he did something that not only a lot of fighters aren't willing to do, that a lot of fighters wouldn't have the um, courage to do. I said the same thing twice, but whatever. A lot of fighters wouldn't be able to do what I meant to say, man. So that's what Andre Ward would have done, and I would give him nothing but credit, and it will basically prove once and for all he is the best fighter in the sport, without a doubt. Now, here's why I say these guys are cutting themselves off at the corners, man. They're leaving no room for escape. So now Sergey Kovalev hasn't done anything, right? So now Sergey Kovalev... Um, he, all he did was beat a, a old Bernard Hopkins. Before, Ward was scared of him, but now all he did was beat an old Bernard Hopkins and a Jean Pascal. His resume is not that impressive. Who has he beat? Isn't that the same thing we've been saying about Triple G? Aren't you the same guys that have been talking about how Triple G has three of the major belts and, you know, guys are running from him? Isn't that the same narrative that... I'm, I'm using y'all logic. Isn't that what y'all been saying about Kovalev, that Adonis has been running away from him? He's a monkey, blah, 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 blah. So, and he has three of the belts. So, now the belts don't matter? Huh. <laughs> so now it's about who you fought, right? So now it's about who you actually been in the ring with. Now that's what matters now. But um, with Triple G, it doesn't. So it doesn't matter about who he fought. It's about getting the belts and becoming undisputed. Because I'm, I'm a little confused because, um, yeah, last time I checked, Kovalev gets a bunch of knockouts too. Has He has the same number of knockout or whatever title defenses. It doesn't fucking matter. He has a bunch of knockouts anyway. And um, he has three of the major belts just like triple g but all of a sudden now it doesn't matter now it's all about who you fought right now it's all about that it doesn't matter how many belts it doesn't matter about the title defense it's about who did you actually beat the same shit we've been saying this whole time now y'all gonna sit down and use this for sir kovalev ain't that's ain't that a bitch duh ain't that a fucking bitch so now you're admitting that we are right you are admitting that triple g needs to go in the ring and actually fight somebody based off saying that what has on kovalev done even though he has three of the major belts and According to y'all, um, Donald Stevenson is running from him. So what's the difference between that situation and what's going on with Triple G right now? 
what has Triple G done significantly more than Sergey Kovalev? One could argue Sergey Kovalev has a better resume because even though he beat a quote-unquote 50-year-old Bernard Hopkins, Bernard Hopkins was a titleist, a long-reigning champion, et cetera, et cetera, man. And along with Jean Pascal, Jean Pascal has done great things in the sport as well. So you're going to diminish and downplay those wins and the fact they hold three of the major belts, but you're going to big up Triple G. You guys, you're sounding ridiculous right now, man. You're sounding like absolute fools. So all of a sudden now, all that shit doesn't matter. It matters who you fought. It's sad, man. It's sad, but... All this means it just shows you right here that these people aren't consistent. First, who's Andre Ward was scared of Sergey Kovalev. He wouldn't fight a dude this good, this courageous. Now, Sergey Kovalev is not that impressive. They do this all the time. And once Andre Ward beats Sergey Kovalev, all the excuses will roll out. If Sergey Kovalev wins, then then they'll sit down and praise them and talk about oh how Andre Ward is such a good win. But right now, they're sitting on trying to say Andre Ward isn't shit. They're not consistent at all. They're flip flopping all over the place, man. This is why the LDBC matters. This is what it's important. Me. Like I said, man, I think Triple G is a good fighter. I think he's done a lot. I would like to actually see him face better competition to solidify his legacy. But at the same time, I'm not going to poo-poo three belts in the fact that a lot of people don't want to fight him. I'm not going to poo-poo it. At the same time, I'm not just going to sit down and be like, okay, well, people don't want to fight you. Just give up. You know, just don't do anything else. No, fight somebody. And Sergey Kovalev is fighting somebody like I would want to see him do. He's fighting Andre Ward. So I'm looking at it this way, man. <sighs> Y'all really embarrass yourselves on this one. You guys are really in inconsistent, and everyone sees it, man. Whoever wins this fight will be the pound for pound king, and you guys, there's nothing you can do about it. All that hate, all that, you know, inconsistent shit, everyone can see it now. It's on full display, and now you have to sit down and put in question a lot of what Triple G is doing based on what you're saying about Kovalev. Because you can't have the standard shift from fighter to fighter, you know what I'm saying? You can't keep moving the goalposts or shorten the goalposts depending on who you're talking about. It looks absolutely silly. So that's all I have to say on this one, man. It's obvious. They're just full of shit. Whoever wins this fight is Pound Pound King. There's no exception, no ifs, ands, or buts. It is what it is, man. That's it.